Okay, so I did my multiplication. So first multiply the two factors with complex numbers, and you should get x squared plus 4x plus 13. Then you multiply the x plus 1 times that quadratic, and you should get x to the third plus 5x squared plus 17x plus 13. Okay, that's the answer to number 5. Number 6 is similar, except uh, on number 5, I'm done, because the last piece of information they gave me was the leading coefficient is 1, and the leading coefficient of this polynomial is 1. On number 6, it's a smidge more complicated, so we'll do that next. Okay, now we're looking at number 6, and it's similar to number 5. It says n equals 3, I need 3 factors, and they give me two zeros, 3 and i. Now remember, that means I know that x minus 3 is a factor, that x minus i is a factor, and what's the conjugate of i? Negative i. So x plus i is a factor. Okay? So when I multiply these out, and I'm just going to do that quickly, you'll have to trust me that I get x squared plus 1 by multiplying these two. And then I get, uh, what will I end up? I'll get x to the third minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. Okay, now, this time though, the last piece of information they give me is that f of 2 equals 20. On our guess so far, what happens if I put in 2? Will I get 20? That's how I'm checking. Okay, so I'm going to do the math. 8 minus 6 is 2, plus 2 is 4. Wait a minute, something's wrong here. f of 2 equals, oh, that's why, squared. Ha, ah, silly Renee. Okay, um, so that's 8 minus 12 is negative 4, plus 2 is negative 2, minus 3 is negative 5. And what we wanted was we want f of 2 to equal 20, what we have is that f of 2 equals negative 5. So this actually tells us what to multiply by. What times 20 will give me negative 5? Negative 4. So that means what I want to do now is take negative 4 times the polynomial that we found below from multiplying our factors together. And then when I distribute that, I will get our polynomial is actually f of x is equal to negative 4x to the third plus 12x squared minus 4x plus 12. And that is the final answer. Okay, now I'm going to do number 7. It says find all zeros of the function and write the product, the polynomial as a product of linear factors. So find all zeros means take the polynomial, set it equal to 0. Now, the first thing I observe is that I can start by factoring this, because this has quadratic form. I can factor it x squared and x squared. Factors of 144 that add up to 25 are 16 and 9. Okay. Now, we're not comfortable factoring things that look like this yet, so we're going to set it equal to 0 at this point. x squared plus 16 equals 0 x squared plus 9 equals 0. Solve for x. Subtract 16. x squared equals negative 16. That means x is plus or minus 4i, right? Okay, same thing over here. x squared equals negative 9. That means that x is equal to plus or minus 3i. Okay, now I'm going to come over here and we're going to see what that tells us. So what I've got is a list. x equals 4i x equals negative 4i, x equals 3i, and x equals negative 3i are my four zeros. But remember, I can build the factors from the zeros. That means x minus 4i times x plus 4i times x minus 3i times x plus 3i are the factors of the original polynomial. So you see how we, once we find the zeros, it shows us how to factor any polynomial. And that's the end of section 3.4.